In this demonstration, we will explore the process of cryoablation using a phantom with a target embedded within it. To begin, the first step is to insert the probe, which serves as the needle for cryoablation, into the designated area. On the screen, you can observe a white line moving towards the target, indicating the progress of the probe. Once the probe reaches the target, it is inserted slightly beyond the target, aiming for a penetration of approximately one centimeter in all dimensions. This positioning ensures optimal coverage. Now the physician initiates the freezing process. As the procedure begins, you will notice that the needle becomes highly visible on the screen. The front and back of the needle are represented on the ultrasound by two parallel lines. As the procedure progresses, the tip of the needle starts to form ice, which appears as a black shadow behind it. Gradually, the definition of the needle becomes less visible as the ice ball continues to grow. The edge of the ice ball pushes into the adjacent tissue, resulting in a rounded contour. Here, the physician scrolls through the visuals to provide a comprehensive view of the ice ball, represented by the black region. The ice ball is observed to exert pressure on the adjacent tissue. Typically, the physician would maintain the ice buildup for approximately 10 minutes before allowing it to thaw. Once the initial ice ball has thawed, the process is repeated, freezing it again for another 10 minutes, followed by thawing. This completes the cryoablation procedure. The process of freezing and thawing of the phantom during a cryoablation procedure usually takes around 30 minutes. As the ice ball expands, it approaches the surface, simulating the proximity to the skin in an actual patient. To protect the skin in real cases, a small needle would be placed underneath the skin, delivering fluid to create a barrier between the skin and the ice ball. However, for this demonstration, we are utilizing an active thaw. During the thawing phase, if the target or tumor being addressed is sufficiently large, adjustments to the probe's position are made to ensure comprehensive coverage of the desired area that may have been missed previously. At this stage, the physician removes the probe in order to showcase the internal positioning of the ice ball. The physician cuts through the phantom revealing the ice ball still enclosed within the breast tissue. The targeted area, represented by the caper, is seen surrounded by the ice ball. In conclusion, this demonstration has provided insight into the process of cryoablation through freezing and thawing. The targeted region is effectively treated, demonstrating the potential benefits of this technique in clinical applications.